Okay, it is late December 2022, and the dogs and I are headed to northwestern Oklahoma looking for quail. Now, I've never been to the state of Oklahoma before for anything, so I'm pretty much considering this a scouting trip or a trip to start figuring things out. This was a pretty long drive. It was a little over a thousand miles each way. When we got there the first afternoon, I went ahead and let the dogs run a bit just to stretch their legs. Come on, let's go. We were hunting and staying on a WMA that wasn't supposed to have any pheasants. So it was quite a surprise to me when Boogie went on point and it turned out to be a hen pheasant. I didn't even have my camera on or anything to record it. Neither Boogie or Hank has had any contact with pheasants, not even pen raised pheasants. So they're not really sure about these birds. Boogie, whoa, Boogie. Now Hank has gone on point and Boogie is backing during this same walk. Next day, we hunted pretty hard. I think Boogie ran 14 miles, Hank 13 miles, and I walked about five miles. And in all that, we didn't find a single quail. So I knew the quail numbers were down based on the roadside survey from a bad hatch and also from a drought there. And I thought it could have been that, or also that I was really hunting the wrong kind of cover. We did find some pheasants though, but our lack of experience on these birds showed. Here, Boogie had gone on point on top of this hill, and when I got within sight of him, he came off the point, and I kind of let it go. But as it turns out, it was a running rooster, and he went and bumped it out of range. And as he was chasing that bird, he ran right into another one and bumped it out of range. Once the dog stopped chasing and came back into the area, Hank went on point, and I wondered for a moment if I could be lucky enough that there'd be three roosters in here, but nope. Now we're headed back to camp, and you can see what kind of cover we were hunting here. It was hilly, and thick, primarily sagebrush and plum thickets, but it wasn't right for quail. We did spend a couple of days in this kind of cover though until I finally figured it out on the last day. This bird season, I've camped out of the truck for every trip we've taken, and at this point, I don't see myself doing it any other way. Here in Oklahoma, every sunrise and every sunset was spectacular. One morning I heard more coyotes than I've ever heard before from all around us, literally 360 degrees. On one night, it was especially windy, so much so that I could feel the truck rocking, but I was comfortable still. But I woke the next morning to find that I was packed in with tumbleweed. In terms of the truck camping setup, I've actually been very happy with this uh, this season. And maybe I'll make a couple of minor changes before next season, but nothing major. On one of the nights in Oklahoma, the wind chill was slightly below zero, but it was still very comfortable in the back of the truck, even with the heat on low. Usually on these trips, I'm tired and I find this to be a good place to kind of hang out, rest and sleep. All right, back to some hunting. But before we get to that, I want to take just a second here to mention how hard this country was on the dog's feet. And it was primarily the cactus and sandburrs. 
I've never hunted with boots on my dogs before, but you really do need them here, uh, especially if you're going to be hunting for several days. And in fact, if this had been a longer trip, we'd had problems. Now we're hunting on the last morning, and you can see the covers different than what we've been doing. It's it's not as thick and it's not as hilly. And once we got into this area, I heard quail calling all over the place. We hunted some where I'd heard birds calling, and it looked like the dogs had found them a couple times. But when we got into it, we, we couldn't flush them, we couldn't find them. And I'm not sure if they either had already left sometime before or if they ran ahead of us. On this point, Boogie's pretty serious, even with a vibrating tail. But there weren't any birds there, and uh, even afterwards you could see they were scenting around quite a bit where the birds had been, and, and there were a good number of tracks there. Uh, but this is one that we still got to figure out. They're definitely smelling birds. But where are they? <laughs> this is about where I heard some calling this morning. I guarantee you they were right here. Finally, in the 12th hour, things came together and we got on some quail. Boogie's on point here and Hank comes in kind of late. As I was walking up, it looked to me like Boogie was indicating birds were on the left, and so I looked over there, but I never saw those birds. But they were there. Hank, you just saw him. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Good boy. Come here. Come. Come. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's good. That's good. Thank you, sir. I think I hear more back here. There you go. There's two. Come here. Come here. There's another one. Come here. There's more in here. I'd heard the birds that I'd passed by flush when I shot, and so we didn't end up finding any more in here. Good boy, good boy. There you go, good boy. Two hens, unfortunately, but happy to have them. We headed back to camp, and that was it for the trip. This was a fairly short hunt, only about two and a half days, not counting the day we arrived. And the reason for that is because back home we were expecting a litter of boogie pups, and I wanted to get back before they were born. I actually think this was a pretty good trip for me, and, and obviously not because of epic bird numbers, but because I did figure out quite a bit, and that was the goal of the trip. Also, the trip ended well, so I felt like all's well that ends well. Hey guys, come on. Want some bacon? What to do? That's a big piece. You go back in there. Go. Give me one. Oh, yeah. 
Give me one. Come on, Jumbo. Mr. Quail. There you go, Mr. Quail. Good job, buddy. And to cap it all off, we got some quail just in time for a final fried quail lunch. Not bad. These quail were really good. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and consider subscribing.